There, you know, we all love some coffee from time to time, some of us more than others here in the newsroom. But well, when you get up at three in the morning, yes, I think people are going to like coffee. I prefer tea or juice, but you know, who's counting? But now it's time for another check on our weather because we got some rain in the forecast heading our way. Tracking it right now on WDSU first warning radar. And looks like the showers, the line of showers that's most significant is moving right into the greater New Orleans area here in the next 45 minutes. North Shore scattered showers right now, but today is definitely going to be an unsettled weather day. Here's the big area of rain. No thunder and lightning there, but I did a storm track on this. It's moving to the north at about 25 miles per hour. So right about 7 o'clock is when I think it's going to be at the Superdome, Metairie, at the airport. And again, no thunder and lightning with that line, but still, that rain is going to be moving in this morning, and I think we're going to be getting more of that rain later morning into the early afternoon. 78 degrees our current temperature at Louis Armstrong International Airport. Still a bit breezy, winds from the east at 10. Going to the Superdome today, be prepared for rain. The temperatures are going to be comfortable, but it's not going to be a, an overly warm day compared to some of the days we've had previously. Cloud cover is going to hold the temperature down. 75 degrees at 9 a.m. as you're heading in, 76 degrees when you leave the Superdome, but there will be some showers in place. Our weather is going to be very unsettled for a lot of reasons. First of all, we have this front. Is it a stationary front? Is it moving a little bit closer to us as a cold front? I think it's drifting closer to us, but it's helping to direct a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico into our neighborhood. And some of that moisture is associated with what used to be Hurricane Raphael. Now it's just a tropical storm. And by the beginning of next week, it's not even going to be that, just a remnant area of low pressure. Winds only at 40 miles per hour. But some of that moisture, again, affecting our weather today. Now the computer models, quite frankly, are all over the place. And sometimes we have a tendency to look at the computer models and say, oh, here we go, 10 o'clock, noon. The logic tells us that with this front here, and I think this computer model, this is the European model, I think this one is validating the best. And it gives us an idea the way things should play out today. We're going to have rain in place. The heaviest rain could be close to the coast. Here we are pausing things at about 3 o'clock. Still have showers, maybe some pockets of some heavier rain in place at 3 o'clock, even at the dinner hour. That's what this model was picking up on. Now, I don't think it's going to be a flooding rain by any stretch, but there may be some pockets of some heavier rain, especially if you're a little bit farther south and close to the coast. As we get to Monday, we go through the day, our chance for rain should be decreasing. But again, today, just plan on an unsettled weather day. And yes, some pockets of maybe some heavier rain, and there could be some very, very minor flooding. That's why today is a weather impact day, mostly cloudy. Numerous showers could have an isolated thunderstorm, but I don't think thunder and lightning is a major concern today. Mostly cloudy, isolated rain. Again, we're going to have that coastal flood advisory in effect. It's officially in effect until 10 a.m. today. Then it's going to be in effect again from 9 p.m. tomorrow evening to 9 a.m. on Monday. Your forecast for Monday calling for just isolated showers and thunderstorms with a chance for rain going down to 30 percent. Morning fog. Might be a concern for us Tuesday, Wednesday. Finally, the cooler air is here by Thursday afternoon, Friday and Saturday. A bit of a cool down. That's your WDSU first warning forecast.